Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport. Uh, we're starting to see some clog ups of the traffic over here, so road building is something that we're keen on. But first, first things first, I want to make sure that we extend our runway and to allow the bigger the bigger flights to get in here, the 707s and things like that to get into into here so we can see some more passenger throughput. Um, <clears throat> oh, I need to assign that one to this one also. And obviously things are going to get busy soon. But I'm hoping with the three stands I can get make enough money, which it seems to be doing the, the right thing, I can make enough money to really start focusing on a proper terminal expansion um, <clears throat> without too much abortive, uh, in the line of abortive work. I'm worried that this area is way too busy so I'm thinking we need to step this out and um, open up that section there I am worried I am worried about that so how are we doing it's still some evening flights why is this slot empty who are we missing a 6 p.m. arrival though. And just an Embraer though ah, because we've got the A320 here and it is full with nine minutes to spare, it got everybody through there. Nice. Don't be stuck, man. Yeah, go. Excellent. Everything is moving. Lots of passengers coming off of this one. We're making a lot of money now. We're really doing doing well. If I have a quick look at oh no a cash flow yesterday well at the moment we're making tons of cash tons these guys hanging around not doing much there's room for a lounge there's room for some bathrooms in here um, but obviously this thing has to expand quite substantially I'm gonna redo this section a fair bit I might actually what I might actually do is I might actually are uh, kind of bust into here with a larger check-in area uh, actually I would want the big but uh, in the meantime with a bit of a larger check-in area and then only maybe have yeah we'll see about where we do bathrooms in the interim but yeah I'm keen on getting the um, the larger check-in area done because this is going to get very tight now. Probably need some more baggage claim as well. So I might have to expand that section through there. Uh, that's that's very possible that I'd have to do that. But first things first. As soon as we end our our flights this evening, what's going on? Where is our last passenger coming in now? How far are you? 32 minutes that is a little that's cutting it fine buddy and you're still hanging around why can I can I prompt this guy to do something well that's that's not great passenger time breakdown okay there you go. Well, you've missed your flight, buddy, because you've been hanging out over there. Crazy, man. This guy's 100% boarded. That one's 98% boarded. No problems. <coughs> I've got one more big one coming in, right? Or is that the end of it? That's actually the end of the day. So with those two out, pause. Let's extend that runway while we can do that. Now, asphalt runway, uh, do I upgrade by adding... No, I don't upgrade. I just build more runway. So grab it. Uh, not taxiway. I need taxiway too, by the way. I need to rem remember that. So it needs to be 150 tiles. Jeez. So that's that's what we're looking for. I'll just extend it all the way. Nice and big. And now the same thing needs to happen is I need to run the taxiway. So there you go, paid for that. Now I just need everybody to do their thing. So what's happening? At least one the runway must be functional. Yes, so please uh, get the guys over here to come and build the runway quickly, quickly. 
and then taxiway we've got a nice I think this is a decent a decent maneuver for the taxiway are you dropping off everything can we please get things built or you need to to run lots and lots of materials around it's not ideal for you to do that though do I need more people yeah I think I've got enough time though I think there's enough time to get that done um, I think that's it for this and then these guys are going to start constructing the taxiway nice are they just dropping some stuff off over here yeah they're working on it under construction they should finish that in no time and then the next step is for us to make sure that we get that done yeah building this entire section yeah probably gonna be uh, a little bit problematic uh, I mean costly not problematic of course it's not gonna be problematic but it's gonna be a little bit costly so we're getting all of this done the runway finish that off got some taxiways out there that are already in there so let's clear the planning let's clear the planning up to there uh, is that I can always move it but I'm actually in keen on leaving an extra space for for another piece of a runway yeah well we'll also we can also add extra areas so it's like midnight now how much money did we make now so let's see yesterday 13k with how much in construction happening with a hundred and fifty thousand in construction our terminal fees and our construction fees cancel each other out and our taxes is not that high again I'm wondering if it's because of the construction going on that's costing us a lot of money or whether that's not the case anyway what's wrong now at least one aircraft gate must be functional at least one runway must be functional so what's your problem here uh, requires a taxiway path to at least one runway yes fair enough fair enough we're working on all of that just calm down okay so the runway is now active right yeah runways active taxiway is underway we'll get the taxiway sorted in time so now what we can do is I can actually go ahead and slot in some big boys so WestJet do you have some big boys for me in the morning yes you do morning afternoon and night all three of them are the big guys right let's accept all three of them so I want a, a morning flight please um, I'm gonna squeeze it in uh, kind of say center arrival like that I'll always move it if we need to same thing over here I'm gonna try and uh, squeeze it in a little bit more center arrival something like that for instance and our evening flight all the way over here I'm gonna squeeze it in over there Okay, a Ford Air. Do you have big boys? Wow, you indeed. Ooh, seven six sevens. Uh, let's 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 stick with the three first. Let's see how this section operates under those conditions. Um, I want to have a quick look at what a seven, uh, what actually, a, what a seven seven zero seven actually accommodates. One eighty. The 767 is 250 yeah we're not quite there yet I think the 707s are okay I think we can manage that especially if they're uh, if they're quite far apart so that's cool here we go our runway is up and running and we will start seeing our flights coming in oh the big boys are not going to come in today because um, assigned to assigned to baggage depot one candidate today's flight and not scheduled today's flights plenty plenty of flight schedules for these stands excellent I think I want to start doing some expansions over here uh, guys so give me a bit of foundation um, and what I'm keen on doing is actually a little kind of something like that is that is that okay are we gonna are we gonna do that yeah do that build, build that for me no it's not secure oh man again Ugh. can't keep making the and now where are these guys going now they're just gonna walk throughout everywhere just because the area is now all of a sudden not secure they do crazy things 
I keep doing this. I need to remember this is an issue. It's not a problem yet. The flights haven't arrived yet. But damn, I so frustrated that I keep doing that. It'll be secure now. Excellent. Now, back to being secure. Guys, back to being secure. Yeah. Go, go nuts. Go nuts. Get yourself through security. Excellent. So what I want to do here is actually provide a little bit more. So what, what can we do? Can we do some like shops or something? Can I do a kiosk? Let's go to objects. Go to a kiosk. Kiosks. And shall we do a coffee kiosk? Nice. I'm going to place a coffee kiosk right over there and see how that goes. And what I want to do is I want to give some, I want to get some benches in here. I'm currently using the blue benches. So let's uh, flip that around and kind of do something like that. Oh, it's got its staff. Nice. Under construction though. It's looking better. Looking better. How many people are boarded? I'm still waiting for two more people to board. You are also waiting for like two more people. You've got everyone on there now. Excellent. Get out of the way. You're still waiting for like one more. I want to see how much revenue we can generate over here, but now I've got a little bit more. I am wanting to redo the whole queuing situation for these uh, for these for these flights. Yeah, I think that'll be cool if we can do that. To the queuing should get get the queuing situation sorted out a little bit. So we've got more seating now. The environment should be a little bit better. People can pick up a coffee, sort themselves out. There's a pretty big queue for the coffee kiosk. I like that. I like that. Things are looking up. This airport is pretty nice. I actually had a <laughs> actually had a first class lounge before I had a coffee kiosk, which uh, is crazy if you think about that. People are going to go for a coffee first. Going to sit, sit down a little bit inside. The food vending machine is quite busy too. You've got everybody boarded. You're boarding at the moment. Should be good. Okay, I need to see about adding my COO now. So grab a COO. I think I can afford him. So let's hire the COO and start doing some stuff for him. Should hopefully sort that out. I would. I'm pretty keen to to see if I can't uh, kind of manage this area a little bit better. I think like, if I push that one back, it feels like it should be should be workable to push that one, push that one back, get the queuing up against the wall over here, and move the seating to the other side a little bit. Yeah, it just feels like it should be better to be able to do that. Lots of people coming through here hanging around the Christmas tree so grab a snapshot of this these people with their hanging around with their with their stuff nice made a few screenshots you'll see them in the thumbnails I'm sure excellent everything else is looking good looking good uh, is based on price sensitivity passenger satisfaction airport facilities and more work hard for access to the best airlines or face having offers reneged uh, not a problem as yet uh, it has dropped a little bit went over 50 and now it's dropped down a little bit but I'm thinking we're gonna get some some action over here Yeah, I'm I'm glad I opened this up a little bit. It does feel a little bit more comfortable. There's some more transactions happening over here. Revenue today, earnings and transactions. Nice, nice, everything happening. Lots of people coming through here. 
keen on getting the big boys in here so let's speed things up a little bit and see how that goes how's our flights doing got no problems everything is working um, leaving well on time leaving well on time this guy leaving well on time some more flights coming in big heaps of flights coming in the operation is smooth I must say the operation is smooth and we're probably making lots of cash as it stands people are fairly happy passenger satisfaction is coming up how are these guys going struggling oh we've got the uh, COO in place now so I can have another look at this uh, let's get rid of all of these and let's go to research. So now with the COO in place, what I want to do is get road building. Get the road building and operations and all of those kind of things to be sorted out. People are queuing. The queues are not great. That's an A320. That's a big boy. Lots of people coming out of that. It's not a lot of people using the baggage carousel though. Oh, there they go, a little bit. People getting through check-in. Why is everybody kind of hanging around over here is what I'm also a little bit wondering about. Hang on, pause. Did everything go okay with that A320 that's just left? Absolutely, no problems. But it's not the busiest. This one was much busier. The 737 over here was much busier. 64 over here on the 737 again. making decent cash we are making decent cash at this rate we will actually expand quite well and yes I know we can actually do a bank loan might not be the best uh, might not be a bad idea to do that but I like having having things operate things can get spiral out of control so quickly if you go into into a bit of debt to sort these kind of things out okay how's that going road building is still being researched standby gates multi-lane access upgraded buses operations to uh, land expansion I'm gonna try and fill in this one first before we go into land expansion what else can we actually research though maintenance and the runway intersections under construction then technology we need a CTO but then we do advanced security advanced ticketings and fuel ports which is something that I'm quite keen on operations 2 allows management of bus garbage retail and light rail services via operational control panel that's not bad either might be uh, actually better potentially even better than building more roads this is the big boy at the end of the day yes absolutely um, getting everybody boarded in time and there we go end of the day yeah how did we go I want to have a look at what we did over here we made 60k materials took 50 so in effect we probably made about 110k taxes is crazy so why is the taxes now this much uh, income tax so you pay income tax when every third day or something not quite clear research yes fine no problem terminal fees terminal fees and the likes and then the runway fees is going to pop up a little bit so retail coffee kiosk 2000 straight away infrastructure for the coffee cost is paid for itself day one pretty much ATM income and food vending machine income wow those food vending machines do quite well too but the coffee kiosk this does great some materials, some airline fees, and so on. Staffing, and so we're making, we're making okay. We're doing it. We're doing the okay thing. So tomorrow we'll see the first big planes coming in. So let's fast forward to see our first big boys come in here. And uh, obviously we're gonna see the strain of the of what happens in the ticketing environment quite well. So what I'll do is I'll grab one extra airport staff member. Staff member, grab one more of them and see if we can sort that out. Ramp agents are not working. I've, I've hired many of them and they just keep disappearing. Takes and prepares orders in the retail zone. So I don't actually have one of those facilities but that's fine. So we've got one more staff member that's just hanging around at these desks. 
Excellent. Excellent. Now, we should start seeing passengers arrive, right? Not quite yet. Maybe another 20 or so minutes, then we'll start seeing our first passengers arrive. Here they come. Lots and lots of passengers getting through check-in. Nice. Getting through security. Pretty good. Wow, the flow is increasing. Oof. Chicken is busy. Man. People aren't using the self check in desk counter things. They are. Oof. Yeah, check in is, is problematic as it stands. Wow, lots of people. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people. Security over here is doing its thing. Man. Yeah, see, this might be problematic. It might very well be problematic. There's the big boy. 707. People streaming out over here. And now boarding is commencing. Ooh, get more, get more, get more, get more, get more, get more immediately. One, two. Absolutely, get more. We're getting them boarded pretty quickly. It's getting through security. That's the problem. Grab an extra metal detector. ASAP. Metal detector. Uh, flip that around. Pop it in there. And shall we do another baggage scanner? Bag scanner. over here thank you very much and grab two more security personnel one two yeah so that's I'm very glad I only have the f a few of them come on guys work us in we need a bigger chicken desk chicken area oops on there one minute late chicken chicken get in get on get on get on quickly 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 99% boarded. Okay, we should be better at accommodating the rest. How did we go? Um, late, yes, fair enough. We'll get there, we'll get there, don't worry guys. The next big boy is probably already, no, not quite, only in the afternoon. Yeah, we clearly need to expand this operation. This operation is problematic. Oh, security is already underway for the big boys over here. I like how these guys run through here. People uh, sitting down waiting for their flight. Plane hasn't even arrived yet. They're just hanging around doing their thing there it is big boy is here people are streaming out okay the queue is pretty substantial but we're getting people boarded fairly quickly I must say 115 passengers I think we might just do it one more we're waiting one more passenger. Pause. Highlight this passenger. Oh! He's gonna make it! He's gonna make it! Oh! He didn't make it! Can you believe? Can you believe it? That was so close. But buddy, there wasn't any cues. You were just late. It's pretty clear you were just late. I'm kind of feeling I want to push this area out and kind of do fill in the gaps over here so that we can redo this section I think that's what I'm gonna start doing immediately foundation uh, let's pop pop that in uh, let's pop that in and let's pop that in what's wrong with the storage failed to meet the minimum size uh, so grab a storage and pop that in there now it'll meet the minimum size again 
So what I'll have to do is I'm gonna have to move. <laughs> That's a bit, bit crazy over there. Okay, now clear uh, these walls for me. Nice. So you got through there. Um, clear these walls. Clear those walls. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to move the first class lounge in here. Right? More offices will have to go on that side. So the first class lounge is I'm going to pop it in here. So grab me some walls. Right? So I'll move the first class in here. I'll uh, pop it in like that. Right? Give me a door. Right, so the door for first. Uh, actually, let's do a decent door. Let's do something like that. So that's the first class door. Uh, can well, well, let's start dismantling all of this. Uh, so let's uh, before we dismantle that, let's get the first class lounge sorted. First class lounge crew. Flight crew lounge. No, no, no. That's just the first class lounge over there. Excellent, and we will. St start dismantling all of this stuff so I'll kind of reuse that ooh profit from sales dismantle dismantle how's our flights doing are we doing well we only had the one that was problematic is our evening our evening flights gone through right yeah I like it I like it uh, can I please dismantle, 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 dismantle over there, dismantle that one, not that person, don't dismantle her, dismantle this one, this, uh, ooh, that's already disma being dismantled and so is that. Excellent. So now let's start moving our objects in here. So chair, fancy chair, object please. Object, fancy chair, object chair. So we've got tons of fancy chairs in. Ooh, phone charger. Excellent. So what we'll do is we'll do that and that. Ooh, no, 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 no. Cancel that project, please. And we'll do that and that. Do something like that. We'll do this and that. Excellent. So well, that's that's what we're going to start off with. Um, Let's get table. We had a few of these coffee tables, so we'll do one there, one there, one there. Uh, that's fine. We do some plants. Right, which ones did we do? That one. Okay, so let's do a garbage. A garbage bin. Over here we'll do a vending machine. Okay, something like that. And what I want to also pop in here was uh, the. Um, I wanted to pop in a. There was some kind of a. Yes, flight display. Yes, how's that? Can we do another? I'll think I'm going to do one more fancy chair over here. And one more table. Like so. How is that? So that's our new first class lounge up in operation. So make your move. Take it out there. Please take it from this side and don't take it from there. Or don't buy new ones and just take it from here instead. Get rid of all of that. Now clear the zones. Let's clear that zone. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I want to want to move the bathrooms obviously into the corner over here. So first things first, under construction, let's uh, get clearing all of this. Of 
now we get rid of all of those thank you okay so we need to move the bathrooms to the back over here which we'll do and then this is going to be much nicer space for us to uh, to do some queuing and some seating and the likes even maybe pop in an extra kiosk uh, that needs to be dismantled please um, I will also dismantle the stuff that's kind of in the middle of the in the middle of everything right now so that's pretty good uh, over here profit from sales that's fine I think that's okay for now okay guys I think that has been it for this episode how are you liking the expansion operations of our our terminal I think we're making enough money now so that we can start really getting the operation up and running we can also obviously add maybe a few more flights to this section over here but yeah I'm keen on keen on redoing our check-in area that's uh, our strained point at the moment I think with these expansions that I've done over here um, the the concourse A for, for for the flight gates A are decent uh, I don't think we need bigger operations than this security with this we can kind of fill out this thing tremendously what we can do is I can add an extra bag scanner over here and then that is really the maxed out version of this so that's pretty good um, and uh, yeah and then we'll start working on expanding this I think we've got enough of an income stream now to constantly be upgrading our our terminal okay guys if you've liked it as always I would like it if you hit that like button and then uh, yeah subscribe to the channel ask your friends and so on to also subscribe to the channel and I thank you all for your support and I will see you in the next episode thank you bye bye